Today we're going to create this darling shadow box using the Xyron Createopia Refills Permanent Adhesive Cartridge. I've already run a couple of things through the machine. Earlier I ran this piece of fabric through the Createopia using the fabric adhesive cartridge and it went on like a dream onto this chipboard so that's all ready to go. I'm going to first start with the this decorative box that's made using cardstock. Now when you're using your Createopia, this is called the positioning button right in the center of the handle. And when you're using standard paper products, you want to leave it on position number two. If you look at the side of the component, there's a one, a two, and a three, and that shows you where, what position your handle is in. Put this right on the tray and butt it up against the rollers and then crank the handle in the clockwise position. And once it's cleared this plastic bar at the back of the machine, you just press down on the cut button and slide it across and that's going to let me remove it. And then you're going to peel off the top of your paper. And I'm just going to peel this right off. And this now is essentially a sticker. And then I'm ready to put this down on my project. So we've got our baby booties, which are cute. And I'm going to put those right in there. And I've also got this baby bonnet. Now, if you, there's only going to be adhesive on the back. So, for example, I have these two little strings. I'm going to put them right on top of the bonnet so that those will stay nice and adhesive free. Give them a little help starting into the machine. So now it's rolling through. You press the cut button, slide it across. And I have essentially turned these into stickers. Then again, you want to burnish around the edges. And we're going to peel this right off. And one thing I want to mention, when you're working with fabric of any kind, it's always best to wash it before you use it in the machine because um, that'll get rid of any excess material and it'll make the adhesive stick right down for you. So then I'm just going to peel this right up and set it down wherever my little heart desires on my shadow box. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the booties. Peel them off. And we'll put them right here. I mean, this is just, how else would you get these on here? If you were using liquid glue, you'd have to wait for it to dry. Um, if you tried to use a glue stick, you'd have a hard time because of the porous material. It, it just makes projects like this so much easier. And then I'm just going to put on the rest of my cool little doohickeys. I'm going to attach this right here. And I'd run that through earlier with my darling little stick pin. And I've also got the 150, um, the Xyron Creative Sticker, also called the X. A lot of people know it as that. And I've already run my buttons through, and I've got some ribbon and some flowers. The Createopia is, is fantastic for larger projects. The 150 is absolutely perfect for ribbon and flowers and little small pieces. You always want to remember to burnish, especially when you're using materials that have a lot of intricate design, like little lace ribbon. Run all these flowers through. Again, give them a real quick rub. Peel off the clear plastic. Set these right down on my shadow box. What a great gift for someone for the holidays um, or a birthday shower or a baby shower, wedding shower. I mean, it's just a really terrific project idea. So we've got all our fabulous embellishments in. Then I'm just going to take my shadow box frame. Look at all sticks. I mean, it's just fantastic. Put this on. And you can see too, now that we're on the back, when I ran the fabric through, because it was sticky on all sides, I literally just folded it over and it created its own, it kept itself right in place and it was just as easy as it could possibly be. And there you have it. Easy, darling, perfect. For more information or other project videos using Xyron Createopia, come check us out at xyron.com.